The president of the largest country in the world, the Russian Federation, turned out to be a big dog lover. He is the owner of not one or two, but five beautiful pets at once. It is not surprising because knowing Putin's affection for dogs, political leaders of different countries do not think long about the gift. All Putin's dogs are gifts from politicians. In this video, we will talk about the dogs living in the personal residence of the president. They guard his palace and himself. If you love animals, then subscribe to our channel and express your opinion in the comments below. So let us begin. Tygan, Kyrgyz Greyhound, Sharkhan. On March 28, 2019, Vladimir Putin met with the president of the Kyrgyz Republic, Soranbay Jerenbekov. The latter, as a sign of exceptional respect for the president of the Russian Federation, presented him with a rare present, a six-month-old Tygan puppy. Tygan is an ancient aboriginal Kyrgyz breed belongs to the class of hunting. If you literally translate the name from Kyrgyz, you get catch up and kill. The first mentions can be found in the Kyrgyz epic. The strongman Manas was the master of the Tygan named Kumaik. The peculiarity of Tygans is their adaptability to hunting at an altitude of more than 2000 meters. They reach speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. Kyrgyz greyhounds reach 60-70 centimeters at the withers and outwardly very much resemble Kazakh greyhounds. Unfortunately, today the Kyrgyz greyhounds are on the verge of extinction. There are no more than a thousand purebred Tigans in the country. In Kyrgyzstan, the dog is considered a national pride. Outside the country, little is known about this dog, and you will hardly find it at exhibitions. This is a real exotic. Therefore, Soran by Jaren Bekov chose this wonderful dog as a gift. Sharplaninskaya Shepherd Dog Pasha and even earlier, on January 17, 2019, the president of Serbia, Aleksandr Vucic, presented Putin with a Sharplanin sheepdog puppy. The kid was named Pasha. The history of this breed begins in 1938, when they were first bred in the Balkans. The following year, the breed was already registered in the International Sinological Federation, or ICF, as an Illyrian shepherd dog and since 1957 already as a Sharplanin. For many years, dogs of this breed remained a mystery to the whole world because the authorities of Yugoslavia simply did not allow the export of shepherd dogs outside the country. Only in 1970, the first Sharplanin shepherd dog was exported abroad. In recent years, Sharplan and Sheepdogs have enjoyed popularity due to their resilient nature. Characteristic features of the breed Possesses high endurance, can easily live in cold conditions thanks to warm wool. Have a calm and balanced character. There is an opinion that Sharplan and Sheepdogs are capricious, but in fact the owner is the highest authority for them. Alibi Faithful By the way, it sounds very menacing and cute at the same time. Putin also received his alibi as a gift. The puppy was handed over by the president of Turkmenistan, Gurbanguly Berdi Muhammadov, in 2017. Putin liked the dog immediately. He took the little one in his arms and kissed him on the head. Then the puppy hit, but not because he did not like the new owner. Alibis are very careful with strangers and the faithful needs time to get used to and to get to know him. This is a special gift in Turkmenistan because Alibi is also a national treasure and pride of the country. The uniqueness of the Alibi is that they were not artificially bred. Since ancient times they have been used to guard sheep flocks or services. According to unconfirmed reports, the bread has existed on the planet for several millennia. It is very difficult to take the alibi outside Turkmenistan, since the export of dogs of this breed is prohibited. 
An interesting fact is that in the 1930s they tried to put Alibi in the state service of the USSR. This could not be done since dogs have a very wayward character. In terms of care and training, Alibis are difficult dogs, but they are very strong-willed and have great strength. Putin definitely liked such a present. Akita Inu Yume Yume is a real exotic star in Vladimir Vladimirovich's collection of animals. Putin personally chose the nickname, giving it a special meaning. Yume means dream in Japanese. The puppy was presented to the president by the governor of the Japanese prefecture of Akita, Norihisa Satake, for help in eliminating natural disasters. Putin happily said that the gift was cute and in return he kindly presented the governor with a Siberian cat. Putin took Yume with him to interviews with Japanese journalists. The animal showed excellent upbringing and a generally healthy and vigorous appearance, as noted by the representatives of the press themselves. Yume is now in her seventh year. The appearance of the Akita Inu is for the most part the merit of nature, not man. During the period of feudal rule, Akita Inu were used to protect the royal family and nobility. From the 16th to the early 19th centuries, Akita Inu were used as fighting dogs, which subsequently affected their behavior in general. That is why Yume demands increased attention and training from Putin, since she is not easily amenable to education. Bulgarian Shepherd Dog Buffy Buffy went to Putin from the Prime Minister of Bulgaria back in 2010. The puppy was bred in Boyka Borisov's personal kennel. It is not surprising that he chose just such a present, although the press was surprised at this. Upon his return to Russia, Putin announced a competition for the best name for the pet. The name of the shepherd dog was chosen by the whole country, and a boy named Dima won. Subsequently, Putin invited him to personally meet the puppy. The meeting took place in December of the same year and Dima also received a gift from the president. An autographed ball. The Bulgarian Shepherd Dog or Karakachan Dog is one of the oldest herding breeds in the Balkans. The breed is not recognized by the FCI, however it is classified and certified. The dog is ideal for guarding, has a calm and balanced disposition. These dogs are unfriendly to other animals, but get along well with people. Putin himself is pleased with the pet, as he notes. The puppy is cute, but draws piles and puddles for me all over the house. Later, the president noted that he loved him very much. To cross the Buffy, a request was sent to Bulgaria to obtain a female of the same breed. Labrador Connie Palgrave, or Connie for short. Perhaps Putin's most famous and beloved pet is his dog, a black Labrador named Connie. It was presented to Putin in 1999 by the former head of the Ministry of Emergencies and the current Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation, Sergei Shoigu. Connie often flashed in photo reports from meetings of Vladimir Putin with various high-ranking officials. In 27, Putin took Connie to a meeting with Angela Merkel, who is terribly afraid of dogs. Subsequently, the president apologized for the animal's behavior. Opposition circles joked about this, expressing their dissatisfaction with the political regime. On the eve of the elections, an internet voting was organized about the future president of the Russian Federation, in which it was Connie who was in the lead, 37% of the votes. Jokingly, Putin has repeatedly stated that Connie will be his successor. Unfortunately, this didn't happen. Connie died in 2014. The Labrador is a very versatile dog. They are used not only as companions, but also as guides and nurses. It is not surprising that Connie became the president's favorite, which he took with him everywhere. The nature of the Labradors is docile and friendly. Initially, Labradors were black like Putin's. Only then the breed standard began to include fawn and chocolate. Boris, please, be good. Разреши жене купить собаку, тем более 
But Putin has not only dogs, but other animals as well. Vladimir Vladimirovich is distinguished by his love not only for dogs, but also for all our smaller brothers. So in 2003, Putin was symbolically presented with a white goat in honor of the coming year. The goat was named a tail. And in 2008, on the occasion of the president's birthday, he was presented with a little tiger cub, Masha. For some time, Masha lived at the Novoogorovo residence and later moved to the zoo in Gelenjik. Putin also loves horses. He has a lot of them. The first horse was presented to the president in 2000. Igor Stroyev, the former governor of the Orlov region, gave him a trotter. In 2001, Putin's kennel was replenished with a stallion of Akalteki breed. The gift was presented to Putin by Motaza Rahimov, who was the president of Bashkiria. Putin received three Arabs from the King of Jordan, the mayor Isis, and the stallions Ibn Maruf and Hakim. Musharraf later sent two more Arabian horses. Sapar Murat Niyazov and later Gabunguli Badi Muhammadov were both heads of Turkmenistan. They presented Akalteki horses to Putin as a present. In the city of Nalchik, Putin received from Kabardino Balkaria a horse named Kazbij of the Kabardian breed and others. The title of the most famous horse of the president is honorably held by Vadik. This mini horse is only 54 centimeters tall. All of Putin's pets are located at his residence in Novo Ogorovo. Uh -huh. Well, friends, the video has come to an end. We hope you enjoyed it. And we hope you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our new videos. See you soon.